listening to Ron Siegel's Home and Finance Radio Show, only on Financial News and Talk. Now live in studio, your host, local and national real estate expert and consumer advocate, Ron Siegel. And hello again. Welcome to Ron Siegel Radio. This is the show with no real boundaries as we discuss current events, financial markets, politics, sports, even poking fun at the rest of the media. This is the show that connects the dots of confusion delivered by conflicting media reports. We connect the dots so you know the actions you can take, how your family or business can benefit from current events. Most of all, thank you for joining me. Before we get into our intriguing content today, please join me in welcoming our featured guest. There isn't any. It's me, flying solo today. Within every market, there are solutions, though, and I'm going to talk to you about them. As well as tremendous opportunities. That's my. I guess I should do that over, huh? Yeah. Well, I, mean, I guess. I guess we don't get to do do overs here on Ron Siegel Radio. It's a live broadcast. Within every market, there are solutions as well as tremendous opportunities. You just need some trusted guidance. That's my message, and I will be delivering it every day on Ron Siegel Radio. Let me remind you, if you ever have any home or finance related questions, I am the consumer advocate looking out for you, and you can reach out to me directly, 800-306-1990, or ronsegalradio.com. Just remember, that's the number you call anytime for assistance. When you call that number, it comes directly to me first. There are no operators standing by. I am it. Quiet, numbskulls. I'm broadcasting. While I do have a great team when it comes to developing a financing plan or plan to save you money, I personally work with you. Even if you don't have any needs today, save this number in your phone for future reference, 800-306-1990. And yes, we are celebrating National Tortellini Day today. I kind of love some tortellini. I I'm a pasta freak. I'll admit it. I, I enjoy most kinds of pasta. Mm. My wife has me on a diet, though, so I guess I can't be doing too much pasta right now. But tortellini is a, tortellini is a good one. Put a little four cheese on there and throw some good uh, sauce on there. Ugh. guess I can get myself in serious trouble with that one. Uh, moving right along, what's happening in the markets today? Dow Jones Industrial Average up 117 points as we speak to you right now. We are also looking at oil down 92 cents a barrel. A lot of, lot of uh, question marks in the oil world as to why has the oil why has the oil reserves been increasing and the answer to that is very very simple yet the media does not always report it as easy as it really is well we've released about six million barrels of the strategic oil reserves and when we do that obviously you get a bunch of an extra amount of oil even though they're cutting production national average gasoline two dollars 28 cents right now that is the triple a national average as of early this morning so we get that number for you each week we try to bring that number to you what are we paying here in the state of confusion that's the uh, qu real question mark that we look at because that's where we are two dollars 87 point three cents a gallon one year ago we were paying two dollars 42 point two cents uh, did you catch the grammys last night <laughs> Nothing like a little air superiority. Yeah, and I, I want it to be interesting to see what the numbers come in at for the Grammys from last night. I know I had no interest in watching them. I, some of the music, the entertainment could be good, but it, it gets overshadowed when I turn on the Grammys or, or go want entertainment. I want to I be entertained. I'm not really interested in their political aspirations, their political points of view. That's not what I turned it on for. If I wanted that, I could have turned on either Fox News or MSNB Hee or CNN if I wanted that kind of a entertainment. But it's really not what I was looking for. So when, when that's the case, what do you do? You just stay away from it completely. And it's amazing how people apparently are voting with their wallets. That's amazing how people are really going out there and starting to, you know, it's the silent majority, they can say all they want about how many people love Trump, how many people hate Trump, all of this and that, and you got the, the loons in Hollywood, I couldn't care less what their opinions are. Most of them probably couldn't even pass a government class if they had to. But the issue that I'm really getting at right there is what happened to, and I'm going to find the, the lady's name, 25-year-old, 
and I'll find the name for her for you right now, is Joy Vila. Hit the red carpet at the Grammy. She was wearing a, a white sheet when she pulled in. And when she got onto the red carpet, she took the white sheet off. And she's got a dress that, that was the whole length of her dress says, Make America Great Again. Obviously, that probably didn't go over well in the Grammys world. But it sure did do well on iTunes and the downloading of her music. Sales just skyrocketed for the young lady, apparently. And it's just showing what the, the, that the mass America really doesn't care what Hollywood has to say. I love the idea of this whole thing right now that they're talking about with uh, the boycott or the... I forgot, I forgot the hashtag. I don't even want to publicize the hashtag. But taking all of Trump's products off of the shelves in many of these stores. Well, catch this one. I love this idea. Now, Sears and Kmart have come out saying that they're going to pull all Trump products, Trump branded products from their stores. The issue is... Nobody's going to know it. Their stores are tanking. They're doing horrible. And they're worried about taking the Trump products off of their shelves. Again, nobody really cares. Especially when you're talking about Sears. Now, who's going to benefit from all of this? That's if, on a financial show. That's what we're really talking about is who will benefit? Well, the beneficiaries of all of these things are going to really be Amazon. Think about that concept. Don't you think Amazon is going to really do well with, with the, all of this, this garbage about the never Trump? Because if you want an Ivanka dress, go to Amazon. I think you can buy it there. If you want a Trump tie, I think you can get that on Amazon. So all these things where they're talking about taking them out of the stores, out of North retail stores as it is are having a huge, huge problem. Yet they continue to do things that are alienating somewhere between 40 and 50 and 60% of the people. I don't know how many it is. Now, we know that the liberals can't, control, can't deal with loss. They're, they're such snowflakes that you, know, you have to have a pres a, an award for everything. Now, I don't know. I didn't watch the Grammys last night. I have no intent of watching the Grammys. But my guess is that Everybody probably got an award. Isn't that the way the liberals like it? Is that, you know, you get a participation award? The Oscars, does it mean anything anymore? Everyone's going to get an Oscar, right? They, you have five people up for best picture. Don't they, all get a, don't they all get an Oscar? Just a curious question for you because that seems to me the way that we're going in this society of ours that you get the participation award. Well, I would assume they probably had everybody got a, getting a participation award at the Grammys. Just a thought there. That's the way the liberals like it, I think. Isn't it? You tell me. You can leave me a message. Tell me what your thoughts are. Ron at ronsegalradio.com. Or you can go to our Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash ronsegalradio. Tweet me at ronsegal. All the, you can get a hold of me. It's not that difficult. Moving right along. Uh, having more and more problems here with the immigration rates. I love, I love l watching the news on this. We've been sharing this information with you for, I don't know, as long as it's been going on probably. But think about this concept. Now, in, especially here in California, we've got Governor Moonbeam who can't manage his way out of a paper bag. Well, maybe a paper bag he could. It's a plastic bag that he has trouble with. But Think about this. I mean, we're always in the in the black, in the red in this state. The one point nine billion dollar mistake they made. One point nine. <laughs> one point nine billion dollars they missed on the budget by by not coming up with the right numbers. So think about this. If that's the, I mean, we know that's the case. They just announced it with their budget. Now we see that the dam up north. Is has burst because they didn't take care of it. We're building a high-speed rail going from someplace where there is nobody to someplace where nobody wants to go to. And then we're going to worry about, a, we have a dam that's breaking that we can't deal with. Yet the governor 
he's talking about immigration and in sanctuary city, sanctuary state. Now he's got to get on his knees and go to Washington and try and get money because he doesn't have money for these things. And he's supposed to be managing and taking care of us, the American people, the, the Californians. People keep voting for the same way. Now, go back to the immigration raids that I started talking about. The governor comes out with this plan that says, go get a driver's license if you're an illegal. Does that not create a database? Go and, and you don't think that, I mean, the NSA hacks everything. You don't think they can hack California's database? I mean, WikiLeaks got into the Democrat National Committee. Isn't that the same as California legislature? Think about that concept. So we've got 600 illegal aliens, criminal illegal aliens. These are people that have done more criminal acts. Now, if the, fed, if the states turn over the criminals, which the, the feds, ISIS, wants the criminals, those who have created cr crimes other than just coming into the country illegally, if ISIS, if the states are, you know, these, uh, Santa Ana and San Francisco, and I know the mayor of Anaheim wants to make Anaheim a sanctuary city, if these people turn over the criminals to ICE, don't you think that it would minimize the amount of places that ICE would have to go to look? And don't you think that would then minimize the potential errors that they're going to make the people that are going to get caught up in these raids that maybe they wouldn't have otherwise because if you know you've got some murderer or you've got some rapist or drug dealer that's at 123 main street and ice goes in there and they round up a bunch of people there's a likelihood is that they're going to get more people than just the one crook that could have been turned over in the first place think about that concept now obviously they didn't think about the unintended consequences of making it so easy to create a database of illegal aliens in the state of California. And I said this when, they first, when it first happened, it's just creating a database because at some point in time, the tides will change. And now the illegal immigrants have put, them, put the, the state on notice as, hey, this is where I live. They raise their hand and say, here's where you can find me when the time comes. Does that make any sense? Just a thought for you. You are listening to Ron Siegel Radio, discussing your real estate, current events, and the financial markets. When we come back, there is a big demand. I'm going to share this. There's statistics are showing that we have a housing boom coming. When will it happen? I'm going to tell you that exactly when we come back. Questions to ask if you want to buy your dream home. How many tax allowances should you claim? And can you use a reverse mortgage to buy a home? All that and more. When we come back, you're listening to Ron Siegel Radio discussing your real estate, current events, and the financial markets. You can reach me anytime, 800 306 1990, 800 306 1990, or ronsegalradio.com. Connect with us, facebook.com forward slash Ron Siegel Radio on Twitter at Ron Siegel. And if you miss any part of our broadcast, Ron Siegel 1, Ron Siegel the numeral 1 on YouTube. Stay tuned. We will be back in just a few. Are you earning a safe, secure 10 plus percent return on your investments? Is your credit score over 800? Are you living in the home of your dreams or simply where you think you can afford? If the answer to any of these questions is no, what are you doing about it? Text ATP to 79564, complete a three minute complimentary survey, and the area trusted professionals of Ron Siegel Radio will reach out to you to develop a success strategy for you. Again, all you need to do is text ATP to 79564. What if your family business could help clothe a less fortunate family? Or your restaurant could feed truly hungry people? What if you could help to comfort the lonely? Plant sustainable resources where nothing has ever grown before? Or make a child's lifelong wish come true? What if all you had to do was simply do nothing more than what your business already does every day? Would you do it? Introducing Processing for a Cause, a unique program that turns a percentage of your business's credit card volume into ongoing donation dollars for nonprofit organizations and foundations. 
Simply switch your credit card processing provider to Processing for a Cause and begin supporting a worthy cause today. The process is simple and the cause will change lives forever. Processing for a Cause. Are you a veteran, own a home, and need money? The Siegel Lending Team is here to help veterans refinance and get the money they need. The VA 100 lets you borrow up to 100% of your home's value, refinance your mortgages, consolidate credit cards, and lower your payments by an average of $700 a month. And the Siegel Lending Team knows that character means more than a credit score. Call 800-306-1990. That's 800-306-1990. Rate subject to change without notice. Licensed by the California Department of Corporations, NMLS 21037, and DRE number 01869452. Are you a veteran, police officer, firefighter, doctor, nurse, or teacher? If so, you qualify as one of Ron Siegel's VIP heroes, and we have rewards up to $5,000 or $10,000 when you buy, sell, or refinance a home with one of the Ron Siegel Radio Partners. As one of the heroes, real estate agents will rebate part of their commission, lending partners will give a credit at closing, the title company has special published rates, and many other service providers have incentives too. All you need to do is call Ron Siegel Radio at 1-800-306-1990. That's 1-800-306-1990. Or visit VIPHeroProgram.com. Just think about what you will do with all the rebates and incentives from the partners of Ron Siegel Radio. Just call us at 800-306-1990 so we can show you our appreciation for your service. You're listening to Ron Siegel's Home and Finance Show with local and national expert Ron Siegel. Now, here's Ron. Welcome back to Ron Siegel Radio. Within every market, there are solutions as well as tremendous opportunities. You just need some trusted guidance. That's my message, and as your consumer advocate, I will be delivering it every day on Ron Siegel Radio or anytime at 800-306-1990, 800-306-1990, the real-time real estate segment today. Brought to you by the area trusted real estate professionals of Ron Siegel Radio. When you are ready for that new home, start your search Text NEST, N-E-S-T, to 79564, N-E-S-T, to 79564. You're going to put in a few different criteria that you have for the next home that you want, so you can find it before somebody else does. They actually get text messages for, for you as soon as that home comes on the market or other homes in the area come on the market. Question to ask if you want to buy your dream home. And if you are debating purchasing a home right now, you are probably getting a lot of advice. Though your friends and family will have your best interest at heart, they may not be fully aware of your needs and of what is currently happening in the real estate market. Ask yourself the following three questions to determine if now is a good time for you to buy in today's market. Number one, why am I buying a home in the first place? This is truly the most important question to answer. Forget the finances for a minute. Why did you even begin to consider purchasing a home? For most, the reason has nothing to do with money. For example, a survey by Braun showed that over 75% say their child's education is an important part of the search for a new home. This survey supports a study by the Joint Center for Housing Studies at Harvard University, which revealed that the top four reasons Americans buy a home have nothing to do with money. Top four, nothing to do with money. They are a good place to raise children and for them to get a good education. A place where you and your family feel safe. More space for you and your family. Control of that space. What does owning a home mean to you? What non-financial benefits will you and your family gain from owning a home? The answer to that question should be the biggest reason you decide to purchase or not. Number two, where are home values headed? According to the latest existing home sales report from the National Association of Realtors, the median price of homes sold in December, that's the latest data we have available, was $232,200, up 4% from last year. That's a national number. This increase also marks the 58th consecutive month with year-over-year -year gains. If we look at the numbers year-over-year, -year, CoreLogic forecasted a rate rise of 4.7% from December 2016 to December 2017. 
So on a home that costs two hundred fifty thousand dollars today, again, use that as an easy number. You can double it or quadruple it, whatever you want. That same home will cost you an, ele- an additional eleven thousand seven hundred fifty dollars if you wait until next year. What does that mean to you? Simply put, with prices increasing each month, it might cost you more if you wait until next year to buy. Your down payment will also need to be higher in order to account for higher prices of the home you wish to buy. Where are mortgage interest rates headed? Well, you've got to consider more than just the price of the home. The long-term cost of a home can be dramatically impacted by even a small increase in mortgage rates. The Mortgage Bankers Association, the National Association of Realtors, and Fannie Mae have all projected that mortgage interest rates will increase over the next 12 months. Now, I usually give you the Freddie Mac numbers, but they're so uncertain of where interest rates are heading, they're not even putting a projection out right now. But if we look at this, I looked, I shared with you that Freddie Mac's mortgage market survey as of February 9th was 4.17% paying four tenths of a point. 4.17. By the first quarter of 2018, the others, if we average the other three groups together, Fannie Mae, MBA, and National Association of Realtors, they're coming up at 4.63%. So the bottom line, only you and your family know for certain if now is the right time to purchase a home. If you answer these questions, you'll have a better idea. And if you text NEST, N-E-S-T, to 79564, you'll be able to find that dream home before someone else does. There's no advertising on there, so it's great information coming out straight to you. Again, without having to deal with all the ads and it gets texted right to your phone. As soon as there is an update, there's a text that will go right to your phone and you get the information that's beneficial to you and to your family. So the question I I pose all the time or I shared this morning is what's going to happen with homes? Where are we heading in the real estate market right now? And Americans, according at Gallup's U.S. Economic Confidence Index, Americans have viewed the economy more positively since the election in November than they did in the nine years prior. That's because most Americans aren't listening to the loons in Hollywood. Both the current conditions and economic outlook components reached new highs last week. The percentage of Americans who believe that home ownership is part of the American dream, this is a big, big number that I want to share with you. If you already own a home, then people are saying 92% of the time that home ownership is part of the American dream. But those people that do not own a home right now, 80% of the time they're saying home ownership is part of the American dream. So think about that. 80% say that don't own a home are, are saying that it's part of the American dream. So the question I'm going to pose is if you look at it right now, the latest number that we had for home ownership rate, that's a big, big number. So the last number that I was able to find came out in July 2016. The share of home ownership fell to 62.9%. So what that's saying is 37% of Americans feel that home owners, 37% of home Americans do not own a home. Yet, 80% of Americans say it's part of their American dream. The, that's 17% is the difference there, right? So 17% of people need to buy a home or feel it's part of the American dream to buy a home. Think about that part. That means there is, as we've shared before in many, many instances, there is a tremendous amount of pent-up demand for home ownership. Pent up demand for home ownership. That's a big issue. So if there's a lot of people wanting to buy homes and they haven't bought the homes yet, they're going to at some point in time. What is holding them back? Average annual growth of American households. We're growing at 0.68 from 2005 to 2010. And this is coming out from the Joint Center of Housing Studies at Harvard University. The average annual household growth is now 1.36. So our households are growing and we don't have a lot of people that are already owning. So what's happening? Pent-up demand.
54% of new households over the past year were not owner-occupied. 54% of new households over the past year were not owner-occupied. 69% of consumers fear not having enough cash for a down payment. Does that tell you what? Let's give you a start to the idea as to why people are not buying a house. Well, what do we need in down payment money? We're going to talk about that when we come back. You're listening to Ron Siegel Radio, discussing your real estate, current events, and the financial markets. Also talk about how many tax allowances should you claim, how many Americans are underemployed, all that and more. You can reach us anytime. Our off-air number, 800-306-1990, 800-306-1990, or ronsiegelradio.com. Connect with us, facebook.com forward slash ronsiegelradio on Twitter, at Ron Siegel, and if you miss any part of our broadcast, shame on you. But the replay is available, Ron Siegel 1, Ron Siegel the numeral 1 on YouTube. Stay tuned, we'll be back in just a few. Siegel Lending Team offers you buying power. Let's say you can afford a monthly mortgage payment, including principal and interest, of around $1,900. With today's rate on a 30-year fixed mortgage of 3.75%, APR 3.85%, that payment could support a $416,000 mortgage. But if you wait and rates tick up to around 6.5%, which is roughly the average home mortgage rate over the past 30 years, that same $1,900 mortgage payment, including principal and interest, may only be able to support a $314,000 mortgage. That's over $100,000 worth of home you're you're missing out on by waiting. That's buying power. All you need to do to get started is reach out to the Siegel Lending Team at 800-306-1990. That's 800-306-1990. Or visit SiegelLendingTeam.com. That's S-I-E-G-E-L LendingTeam.com. Payment example excludes taxes and insurance. Call us for full details, 800-306-1990. That's 800-306-1990. Or SiegelLendingTeam.com. Equal housing lender, licensed under NMLS number 217037. If your credit score over 800? Are you living in the home of your dreams or simply where you think you can afford? Are you earning a safe, secure 10 plus percent return on your investments? If the answer to any of these questions is no, what are you doing about it? Text ATP to 79564, complete a three minute complimentary survey, and the area trusted professionals of Ron Siegel Radio will reach out to you to develop a success strategy for you. Again, all you need to do is text ATP to 79564. Are you purchasing or own a luxury home? If you're like so many others, your home is your largest asset and the mortgage is your largest debt. The Siegel Lending Team has some amazing financing opportunities right now. Jumbo loans up to $2 million, 30-year rates below 4%, 15-year rates near 35 and if you can believe it, 7-year interest only hybrids in low threes. The Siegel Lending Team has all the options for your jumbo or second home loan requirements. Take advantage of them while you can. To learn more about all the other financing products available from the Siegel Lending Team, call 1-800-306-1990. That's 1-800-306-1990. Or visit SiegelLendingTeam.com. That's S-I-E-G-E-L LendingTeam.com. Again, call 1-800-306-1990. Rates subject to change without notice. Licensed by NMLS ID 217037 and 145502. Eagle Housing Lender. Do you own real estate or have assets over $150,000? Do you know one of your heirs will be the probate courts and the IRS? If you don't have a living trust, you will go through probate. Call Heritage Financial Services toll-free at 1-855-434-7400 for a free review. Check us out on Facebook, Heritage Financial Service in Lake Forest, California. That's 1-855-434-7400. Again, 1-855-434-7400. You're listening to Ron Siegel's Home and Finance Show with local and national expert, Ron Siegel. Now, here's Ron. Welcome back to Ron Siegel Radio. Within every market, there are solutions as well as tremendous opportunities. You just need some trusted guidance. That's my message, and as your consumer advocate, I will be delivering it every day on Ron Siegel Radio or anytime at 800-306-1990. 800 1990. The Mortgage Minute today being brought to you by Gold Star Mortgage. When you're ready for that next mortgage, Gold Star has all the programs available. You just need to make the phone call. Give me at 800-306-1990. I'll put you in touch with the right people at our over with our friends at Gold Star. K 
Can you use a reverse mortgage to buy a new home is the subject of today's Mortgage Minute. Well, the simple answer is yes. Very, very interesting concept. I just had this conversation with a listener recently. We were talking about the idea of a game plan, and they didn't know whether they wanted to, if they were going to be happy. They're looking at leaving the area, but they've got a home in along the coastal side. I mean, it's, it's not right on the water, but it's uh, you know Orange County area. And they've owned that home free and clear. Now, you don't have to own a home free and clear to do a reverse mortgage. It's just a not necessary. But they own this home free and clear. It's about a $600,000 home, $650,000 home, something along those lines. And they wanted to know, how do we set up a game plan for what they're looking to do? And they wanted, they were talking about going to the Coachella Valley, and then they were talking about going to Nevada. So here's the concept of a reverse mortgage. This is what gives you the real benefits of a reverse mortgage. It's also known as the HECM, H-E-C-M, or Home Equity Conversion Mortgage. The majority of them are FHA loans. They are non-recourse loans. Again, they're an FHA loan backed by FHA. So here's the concept of the HECM, or the Home Equity Conversion Mortgage, in this scenario that we were just talking about. The individual selling their home, or not selling, I'm sorry, refinancing their home, taking out about $300,000 or $350,000 in cash of the current home they have in Orange County. Now, the be- you know that, especially if you've got great credit, you get the most discounts if you have a 60% loan to value. loan to value or less. So they could do a loan at $360,000 on a $600,000 home. Does that make sense? 60% of that? Now their payment obviously is going to be more than the zero that they have right now. But we're not really looking, what we're really looking at is cash flow. That's the big issue that we're dealing with when we're looking at the home equity conversion mortgage or the reverse mortgage or strategizing for people that are in their senior years. Now, this individual's bite is not even close to retiring. You know, they're, they're looking at, they've got some serious time until they need to retire. So let's think about this. We look at a, a $360,000 home, a $360,000 loan on a $600,000 property. And the, let me just make sure I get some real good numbers here for you. $360,000 loan, $600,000 property. I'm just going to throw in four and a quarter percent interest. I don't know what his interest rate's going to be. Looking at about an eight, just under $1,800 a month is the principal and interest on that property. Now, what does he do with that $360,000? And what does he do with the property? Because now we've just remember, I've added $1,770 or $1,800 to his monthly expenses. Well, the 600 some thousand dollar house that he has in Orange County will probably rent for $3,000 to $3,200. So if we take, say, just $3,000, that's $1,200 a month positive cash flow from the property. He was already paying his property taxes. He was already paying his insurance. So those aren't going to really change. He was already paying his homeowners. So I don't even know if he had a homeowners association. But nothing really changed other than the fact that we added $1,800 to his expenses every month and $3,000 to his income every month and $360,000 to his bank account. Now, if he goes to another area, wherever he and his wife want to go, they can do that by with taking the money and putting it down payment on a new property. They could have a, number. They, they can do a lot of things. Maybe they'll find a house that they, they're happy with for $360,000, they could pay cash for it. Maybe they only find, they find a house that's $500,000 and they take out a loan for $240,000. The number there, let's look and see what that, that payment comes out to. So a $240,000 Payment is eleven eighty a month, so they're going to be just about at the same point there. Yes, they have to pay property taxes and insurance over at the new property. Maybe, but you know, again, that's just a, a choice. Or 
they can look at our subject today, which is the reverse mortgage. They can take out a reverse mortgage because he's 62 years of age. Now, the idea here is you take out the reverse mortgage. They never have a home loan payment for life. Now, it has to be done on the property that they're going to live in because a reverse mortgage is a a primary residence product only. You can't use that on a rental. So they've got to be 62 years of age or older. The property has to be FHA approved. Could be some newly constructed homes, depending upon, again, where it's at and if it's an FHA approved project. You look at the appraised value. You have to put the down payment down. And if that down payment amount is figured based on the amount of interest or the age of the of the occupants and then it's very simple from there figure 50 percent down makes it a very simple simple number there are closing costs that'll be involved in it but it's a very minimal amount of qualification not a lot of work to qualify for that now what happens from there where do you go from there being that you're dealing with that down the a uh, two properties what is the next step there think about this you've got a six hundred thousand dollar property and let's just, just use the hypothetical we have a six hundred thousand dollar property and the new property is a five hundred thousand dollar five hundred thousand dollar property now the other thing that we're looking at here is what is going to happen to property values now core logic they're a big company that does forecasting all the time Core Logic is telling us that in California, they're projecting an 8.6% appreciation for the next 12 months, over the next 12 months, 8.6%. The people who are looking in Nevada, they're looking at an 8.4%. If you're looking in Arizona, 6.2%. Those are some of the common areas. Florida, 6.2%. So if you take the 8.4% applied to the $600,000 property, that's about just call it round numbers, you're looking at about $50,000 there in appreciation, projected appreciation. And on the $500,000 property, you're looking at somewhere between $40,000, I don't know, thirty dollars to $40,000 in appreciation. Do you see how this is benefiting the consumer? Do you see how this is benefiting the senior? What do seniors the most the most concerned about every senior I talk to the most there's two things that every time I come in contact the number one and two they and they flip-flops they're not always the same but the most issues that people the seniors are concerned with very very simple number one are they gonna outlive their money financial security and they want to live where they want to live they don't want to be dependent on somebody else so the answer to the question, yes, you can buy a home with a reverse mortgage. And on even more than that, with all the pent-up demand, doesn't it make sense to be looking into doing that? Doesn't it look make sense that, you know, if they decide they want to come... Here's, let's look at the, the unwinding. So you've got a couple of issues on the unwind side of this whole thing, because that is a big concern that people have. And this, the, the folks that I was talking to, this is a big concern of theirs as well. What happens if I don't like the other area? Well, you sell the property and you get the down payment money back and you get whatever appreciation there is back, right? You, because you can sell that property anytime. On a, just because you have a reverse mortgage does not mean that you're tied into the property for life. It doesn't mean that the bank is going to own the property. The property goes to whomever you want it to go to. And if you want to sell it, you sell it. So they can come right back to their existing property. They could take that down payment money if they wanted to and pay off the existing loan that they just took off, took out on the property in Orange County. They could move to, if they were in, in Nevada, they could move to Coachella Valley. If they were in Coachella Valley, they could move to Nevada. They might want to go up to Oregon or Washington. Not going to get as much rate of return on home prices up there, that's just the way it is. They're not they're, The projections are not for them to get the same kind of valuations or appreciation that we are, but it's not bad up there either. They're still getting good numbers. So in all instances, it's a win for these people to, to get the money, the equity out. Now, think about this. If they stay where they are, 
they're still going to get the same amount of equity, right? They're going to still get that same appreciation of their property with out taking the money out of the property, right? 600,000, if California goes up at the eight and fraction percent that it's projected, they're still gonna get the same roughly $50,000 in appreciation if that happens. We don't guarantee it'll happen. I'm just telling you that's CoreLogic's forecast. But if that happens, they're gonna still get that same $50,000 appreciation, but it's not gonna be working for them. So they could come back and go back to that property or maybe they want to come back to Orange County, find another a condo or something along those lines for five or six hundred thousand dollars. Because remember, they they sold the other property at three hundred and fifty thousand dollars, three hundred sixty thousand dollars, and it made thirty or forty thousand appreciation over a year. You come back and you buy something else with a reverse mortgage. There's no limit as to how many times you can buy a reverse mortgage as long as it's always for your primary residence. You cannot use a reverse mortgage for rental property. Now remember, when you are dealing with a reverse mortgage, you do have to deal, you have to still pay your property taxes, you have to still pay your, in, your, your insurance, and you have to maintain the property in a safe environment. So those are still issues that have to be done, but regardless of what property you have, you always have to pay your property taxes, don't you? You're listening to Ron Siegel Radio discussing your real estate current events and the financial markets. When we come back, we're going to talk more about the built up or the pent up demand or the growing demand for home ownership. We're going to talk about that. What is it going to mean to you? What is it going to mean to your family? How many Americans are underemployed? We'll talk about that one as well. And you can remember, you can reach us anytime, our off-air number, 800-306-1990, 800-306-1990, or radio.com. Connect with us, facebook.com forward slash Ron Siegel Radio, on Twitter, at Ron Siegel. Stay tuned. We'll be back in just a few. Are you living in the home of your dreams or simply where you think you can afford? Are you earning a safe, secure 10 plus percent return on your investments? Is your credit score over 800? If the answer to any of these questions is no, what are you doing about it? Text ATP to 79564. Complete a three minute complimentary survey, and the area trusted professionals of Ron Siegel Radio will reach out to you to develop a success strategy for you. Again, all you need to do is text ATP to 79564. Isn't it time you found out the truth about FHA-insured home equity conversion? No, it's not your grandfather's reverse mortgage. This just may be the finest financial planning strategy available for all homeowners of retirement age. Helping protect what you've earned is the job of your board of directors with continued education. Major research has shown that using a HECM will significantly enhance the success rate of a retiree's portfolio and legacy. Please allow us to educate. For your complimentary consultation, call Jay Kaplan at 949-300-3855. That's 949-300-3855. Are you currently renting a home? Do you like paying someone else's mortgage payment? Why not explore the options to purchase your own home? Can you imagine a 30-year fixed rate loan below 4.25% APR? This means with $10,500, you can purchase a $295,000 home and have a principal and interest payment of about $1,400 per month. What are you paying in rent? Does your family deserve the opportunity to take advantage of the current market? To learn more about these exciting opportunities, the Siegel Lending Team is standing by to speak with you. Call now, 1-800-306-1990. That's 1-800-306-1990. Or visit SiegelLendingTeam.com. That's S-I-E-G-E-L LendingTeam.com. Or 1-800-306-1990. Rate subject to change without notice. Licensed by NMLS ID 217037 and 145502. Equal housing license. Lender, not endorsed or sponsored by any government agency. Do you have a goal of mortgage-free home ownership? What if your home was valued at $500,000? Are you aware that a free and clear home could be costing you $2,500 every month, $30,000 per year? The mortgage planners at the Siegel Lending Team would like to show you how you can own your home, generate tax-free income, and accumulate family wealth. You simply need to call the Ron Siegel Team at 1-800-306-1990. That is 1-800-306-1990. By sending the team a copy of your most recent mortgage statement, the team will send you a 
no-obligation real estate plan. You be the judge if this is right for your family. Again, all you have to do is send the team a copy of your mortgage statement by email to reap at ronsiegelradio.com or call today, Ron Siegel, 1-800-306-1990. That is 1-800-306-1990. Great subject change and without notice. Licensed by the California DOC and B. R E N L S two one seven zero three seven and 145502 and Cal B R E zero one eight six nine four five two and one eight six six seven seven five. You're listening to Ron Siegel's Home and Finance Show with local and national expert Ron Siegel. Now here's Ron. Welcome back to Ron Siegel Radio. Within every market, there are solutions as well as tremendous opportunities. You just need some trusted guidance. That's my message. And as your consumer advocate, I will be delivering it every day on Ron Siegel Radio or anytime. At 800-306-1990, 800-306-1990, the Your Credit Matters segment today being brought to you by CreditSanitizer.com. You have a credit report. It is wrong. What are you doing about it? Credit Sanitizer has the solutions for you. And the question that we're going to pose today is how many tax allowances should you claim on your income tax? Obviously, paying taxes is unavoidable for most of us. I want the truth! You can't handle the truth! So the issue then becomes, how many how many dependents do you want to claim on your W-4 form? You should really be talking to your tax professional about your W-4 form every year when you do your taxes to see how much money you should be with, have withheld. If you've been renting for a long period of time, well, then you might want to be talking about the idea of, and, you're, and you'd buy a house now. Well, then the idea is you might talk to your tax professional, see how that's going to impact your taxes. It's going to have a positive impact. So you might want to be looking and saying, okay, can I increase my, my dependent number so that I get, more, I, I get more of my money every month knowing that I'm going to have a bigger deduction. Now, in order to understand how allowances work, it might help to understand the concept of withholding. Whenever you get paid a certain amount of your income tax is automatically withheld or withdrawn from your check and turned over to the IRS. Withholding tax can also be collected from individuals who receive earnings from gambling, bonuses, commissions, all different sorts of places. There can be a tax withheld from pensioners as well. If you're a business owner or an independent contractor, you withhold your own taxes by paying estimated taxes. Tax withholding becomes an issue whenever you're filling out that W-4 form at the start of the new job or whenever you've experienced a significant event in your life that affects your tax filing status, like having a child, getting married, buying a house, all of these issues. Withholding allowances directly affect how much money is withheld from your pay. Claiming more allowances will lower the amount of income tax that's taken from your check. Conversely, if the total number of allowances you're claiming is zero, that means you'll have the most income tax withheld from your take-home pay. Allowances matter. If you don't claim enough of them and you have too much money sent to the government, you'll end up with a tax refund. But if you claim too many allowances, you'll probably owe the IRS some money at the end of the year and possibly pay a penalty. The value of a single allowance and how it impacts your salary is based on your tax bracket and how frequently you receive a paycheck. The exact amount of tax that your employer is expected to withhold also takes into account whether you're filing as a single person, a married person, head of household. So the question was, how many allowances should I claim? When deciding the number of allowances you'll have to claim, your filing status, the number of jobs you have, and whether you have dependents will come into play. So how many allowances do you need? Let's think about it. Let's say you're a single person living on your own. You have zero dependents and only one job. So ideally, the total number of allowances you're claiming would be two on your W-4 form. You would write one beside line A and one next to line B under the personal allowances worksheet. You could also choose to claim zero tax allowances. That would probably guarantee you a tax refund. But as a result, your paychecks will be smaller. You could claim one allowance as well if you're interested in getting a refund. Tax allowances for married couples take into account whether they have kids and whether they live in a two-earner household. If you have no children and both you and your spouse have jobs, it's a good idea to claim one allowance and have your spouse do the same. Claiming two allowances on your W-4 form is an option, but you risk having too little tax withheld from your pay. 
again, the government really does not want you to have a big refund. And they don't want you to owe a lot of money. They want you to try and get this as close to a zero as possible. That's why you want to talk to your tax professional to have them help you figure out how many allowances you should be taking. Claiming allowances for itemized deductions, whether you plan on itemizing your deductions when you file taxes, could also affect the number of allowances you claim. Taxpayers can claim additional allowances if they expect to have more itemized deductions than they had in previous tax years. For example, you might be able to claim extra allowances if you want a tax write-off for making another charitable donation or for the property taxes you're paying now for a house you recently bought. How does a change in the number of itemized deductions you're claiming have an impact on your withholding allowances? Deductions reduce your taxable income and affect the size of your final tax bill. If you can claim an extra allowance or two for your excess itemized deductions, you'll be able to reduce the amount of money that the government withholds from each of your paychecks throughout the year. In order to find out how many additional allowances you can claim for your itemized deductions, you fill out the worksheet, the Deductions and Adjustments Worksheet, on the W-4 form. Use the same worksheet if you have, want to claim extra allowances for any adjustments to income, like student loan interest deduction or IRA deductions. So the bottom line is, get it with your, your professional, your tax professional, and have a good conversation about what you're doing when it comes to allowances in that W-4 form. To have revisit that every year. There's a lot of things you should be revisiting all the time and most people just set it and forget it. Make a call on your utilities every year. I just noticed that Verizon came out with a new plan just coming out today for unlimited data. Have you checked on it to see if it makes sense for you and your family? I don't know if it does, but that's the issue. So we've been talking this morning about why people are not buying new homes, what the holdup is that we saw that in the initial conversation that I had with you, I was sharing with you that 92% of Americans believe that home of homeowners believe that ownership is part of the American dream. And 80% of the non-owners believe that home ownership is part of the American dream. Yet 54% of new households over the past year were not owner-occupied. And 69% of consumers fear not having enough cash for the down payment. So what does the down payment need to be? And here's where the big issue is, is so many people believe that you have to have 20% or more for a down payment. And according to the National Association of Realtors, only 39% of the homes, or 39% of the people believe, how much of a down payment do you, non-owners believe is necessary? Non-owners believe 39% of the time they have to have more than, more than 20% down. Unbelievable. Now the question becomes, what is the amount that's legitimately down? The median down payment for first-time buyers for three straight years has been 6%. 6% and yet people think they have to have over 20%. The median down payment for repeat buyers in three of the four past years has been 14%. Repeat buyers put down 14% is the median. I like to use median numbers. That way, if somebody puts down 100%, it's not going to skew things. If somebody has a VA loan or one of the down payment assistance programs and puts zero down, it doesn't skew anything there either. Now, the other part of it is that we know that now we've, we've talked about the pent up demand. And why is it that property values are going to continue to appreciate, go up? Well, there's just no inventory of homes for sale. I'm looking at a chart from the National Association of Realtors that was just compiled. And we are at the lowest month's supply of inventory that we've been in for 12 months. It may go back even further. The chart only goes back 12 months. So it covers all of 2016. And as of December, the last number that we had, a, a, the last month we had a chart for, we had 3.6 months supply of inventory. Now, to be at a balanced market, we need about six months supply. So we're almost half of that or, or, or you know, two thirds of that. So we're way, way short on inventory. Now, if whenever you're short on inventory, there's less supply than there is demand, prices go up. 
The other part of it is I, I shared with you where the numbers are, uh, Fannie Mae, National Association of Realtors, and MBA, what they're expecting for interest rates. They're talking about interest going up. So if there's not a lot of supply, there's high demand, and interest rates are continuing, do you think there's good logic for waiting to buy a home? And we're going to tell you right now that April, May, and June are when most people put their homes on the market. So if you're thinking about selling, do it now before you've got a lot of competition. If you're thinking about buying, buy now before there's a lot of people out there that are looking to buy. That's when they, because that's when the properties are there. Think about that concept. Now is the time. And again, I, 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 I'll share it again. I say it all the time. I don't sell real estate. I just give you information about it, and I can put you in touch with the right people who do sell it. And we've got that free tool, text NEST, N-E-S-T, to 79564. And you can get the free tool, find your dream home before somebody else does. And as always, I share, set that first radio preset button to come back here and join Ron Siegel Radio, where we only speak about items affecting your house and your bank account. Thanks to all of our sponsors. A big thanks to Steve, who's engineering us today. And of course, a special thanks to you for spending a little bit of your day with us. That's all for Ron Siegel Radio. Again, if you have any questions or to meet any of our guests, call me anytime. 800-306-1990. 800-306-1990 or com. And remember, make a lot of money. Help a lot of people. Have a lot of fun. Have a great day. We'll talk to you next time on Ron Siegel Radio.